Hello and welcome to another episode of Scout's Arsenal and this time you're gonna take a look at the first unlockable weapon for Scout, Force of Nature. Force of Nature was added into the game in February 24th in 2009 in Scout Update. It can be acquired by getting 10 Scout achievements or simply for a random drop. Even though a lot of people hate it and say it is no skill gun for free to place, it does have few tricks not everyone knows about. Let's start with this weapon's stats. It has plus 50% firing speed, knocks target and shooter back, shoots plus 20% pellets per shot, deals minus 10% damage per pellet, has clip size decreased by 66% and reloads entire clip at once. So we see that overall damage is increased by 10%, fires twice as fast, but you have to reload after 2 shots. Also, if you reload clip with 1 shot left, it will be ejected. Knockback is a very important upside of this weapon, which makes it so powerful. So if you shoot enemy at close range, he will get pushed back. The distance depends on damage done, so more damage dealt means target will get pushed further. Pushback on shooter pushes him in the opposite direction where he is facing, and applies only when he is in the air. So if you don't jump while you're shooting, you will stay where you are. The important thing that should be mentioned here is that pushback works every 1.5 seconds so on both enemy and shooter. Now let's see how this weapon should be used. As I said, knockback on shooter works only while he's in the air, so during fight you should stay on the ground. If your plan is to get knocked back because for example Demo is placing sticky bomb under his leg to kill both you and himself, you can do it, but most time you should stay on the ground while firing at enemy. Because only have two shots, you should play more picky and worst thing you can do is to run at the crowd of enemy players. Doing that will probably cost you life with small chance of you getting a kill. Now thing you can do with knockback is you can use it to jump higher and further. The simplest way is to jump, shoot straight in the ground and jump again or double jump and then shot. You can also change the direction of fall but I personally hardly ever use it. There is also a technique called force jump, which makes you jump higher than triple jumping with atomizer and winger. How to do this is you have to run forward, then jump, quickly look down at about 45 degree angle, shoot and if you've done everything correctly, you will get lifted straight into the air then double jump in the direction you want. Also interesting fact about this technique is that the height depends on the player's speed during shot. So the faster you move, the higher you jump. Now, when we are done with its playstyle, let's see what weapons make good synergy with this. The first thing that comes to mind is using critical. Ability to deal over 150 damage with just one shot is so powerful. And also, since Kola gives you bonus movement speed, you can use it to force jump even higher than you would normally do. Also, you can use Fun War with this loadout, so even if your drink is on cooldown, you still have an ability to deal mini grid. Another loadout you can use is Flying Guillotine and Sandman. These two weapons are very good at long range, but makes you easier target in close combat. Force of Nature fills the lack of close range power with its massive damage and ability to knock enemy back on longer distance, which allows you to use your stun combo. I don't think there are any bad combinations of weapons with Force of Nature though, due to how universal it is. Now it's the time for the conclusions. Is Force of Nature balanced? Well, considering how universal and powerful it is, and how much additional movement it gives, and how easy it is to learn all its strategies, I think I can say it is overpowered. I think if you decrease the damage penalty to minus 20% and decrease knockback on enemy by 25 or 35% it would be balanced but because it haven't got any balance change since mecha update which came out in 2012 and only made knockback more consistent I don't think we can expect any balancing of this stupidly powerful one-shot scattergun. And that's about it for this video. Tell me what you think about it, and if you have any other ideas to balance force of nature, share them in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and dislike if you didn't, and see you in the next video.